there, Michelle on the Solely Rested channel. I thought today I would show you what I'm doing gardening wise. We had a lot of trouble with squash beetles this year. I have grown squash for so many years, never had this problem. But we fought them all summer and I was so thankful to have maybe a dozen squash this year and I was so thankful for them because for a while there I thought I would have none fighting these horrible beetles and I don't know I think maybe this is my theory we had a problem because last year we went on a road trip right at harvest time and we got back from that three-week road trip exhausted doing the little bit that we had to um, what was left of you know garden stuff but we didn't clear it we left all the plants we just let the snow cover them, let them go. And then this spring, we finally cleared out the garden and got it all ready to plant. So my theory is something about leaving the plants there all that time brought on the squash bugs. Like maybe they were there from the previous year, just hadn't multiplied enough and then letting them stay there under the snow, they just went crazy. I don't know, that's just my theory. but. For some reason, first time ever, we had this horrible problem. So, all my zucchini and squash, as I'm clearing out the garden, not going to do that again, I am clearing it all right now. Um, as I pulled out my zucchini and squash, I said, okay, this is going nowhere near the compost pile, and it's going far away from the garden. So, I just walked you down the path that I've been coming with my wheelbarrow with all of my diseased plants and putting them in our swamp area. But it's so gorgeous down here, I thought, oh! I will film a little video, tell you my quote unquote solution, I hope I don't have the problem with squash beetles next year, and show you the beautiful colors of fall down in our swamp. I know, swamp doesn't sound very romantic, does it? <laughs> but that's what it is. It is a low-lying area and it gets very wet in the spring, um, but it's just absolutely gorgeous as well. Have a fantastic day in your neck of the woods.